Hi guys, Mrs. A here. Today we're looking at the inverse of an exponential function. So here I have an exponential equation, y equals 3 to the x. So this is an exponential equation with a base of 3. Uh, we could have any base in there and we would do this, the work in the same way. It would still be an exponential function as we know. So we want to find the inverse of this exponential function. And remember, to find the inverse of any function, we switch the x and the y variables, and then we solve for the y variable. But in this case, when we switch the x and the y variable in th this equation, we get x equals 3 to the y. And so here, we don't really know how to solve for that y. So we introduce a new term called the logarithmic form. So we can connect an, expo an exponential equation like this to a logarithmic equation, they are equivalent. And we do that by switching between the two forms. So let's just remind ourselves, if we have an exponential equation of the form x equals a base to the y, then this is the same thing as the logarithmic form y equals the logarithm of x to the base b. And notice here how the base of the exponential equation is the same as the base in the logarithmic equation. So those have to match. So essentially, oh, we can switch between these two. If we want to go in the opposite direction, we ask ourselves, b to the power of what gives us x? And that's how we get the exponential form. So this is the exponential form of the inverse of an exponential function, and this is the logarithmic form of the inverse of an exponential function. So here we, we found the exponential form, and so to switch it to the logarithmic form, we just use this format here. So we're going to write y equals the logarithm of x to the base 3. And so our base in the exponent matches the base in the logarithmic form, so we know that we've done that part correctly. Thanks for watching, Mrs. A loves math.